Welcome back to another exciting day here at the House of Prayer. But before we go off into the other room, let's review what it is that we've learned so far. Here in the foyer, we will learn to worship and tell God just how great he is. And here in the bathroom is where we learn to repent and get all that yucky sin out of our hearts. Here in the kitchen is where we learn to pray for others. Here in the den is where we learn to pray God's word. I can't wait to see where we're going to go next. Hey, Jumpin' Jack, it's time to go. Hey! Hey, hey! Oh! Hi! Uh, hi! It's time to go in for worship! What? It's time to go in! It's time to worship! Oh! I have these new headphones. They're noise canceling. It makes it really hard to hear. Clearly. But it's time to go. We've got to go in. What? Oh, well, well, you come let me know when it's time to go inside, okay? See you later. He couldn't hear anything that I was saying. He's going to this worship. Oh, well, can you guys help me go inside and worship? Oh, thank you. Come on, let's go. Here, I'm here to worship. I'm here, I'm here to worship. I'm here, I'm here to worship. back home they're really going through a tough time oh I'm so sorry that can be really scary huh yeah it is hmm what should I do M my friend came over to play but she's so scared because she has a lot going on at home <sighs> what should I do what have we been learning about in the house of prayer what was that oh yes we've been learning about how to listen for the needs of others. What needs have we just heard? Yeah, 
We've learned that our friend is really scared and, and upset because her family's going through a lot right now. So what should we do? We should pray for her. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, merciful Monica, do you mind if, if, if I pray for you right now? Yes, that would be so great. Thank you. Okay, Jesus, thank you for my friend, merciful Monica. I ask that you would just help her. You know what's going on in her family, and I pray that you would just be with her and help her and help their family. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Welcome to the living room. When you have friends over, a lot of times you go to the living room to sit and talk or play games or hang out. Well, the living room is somewhere where that in the house of prayer, we need to practice our listening skills. And listening skills are when we just really listen to what other people are saying. It's very easy because there was a time whenever that Jesus was with a big group of people and in Matthew 14, 14, it tells us about it. It says, and Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude, that's a large group of people, and was moved with compassion toward them and he healed their sick. Jesus was with a large group of people and as they were having conversation, he heard that there were those around him that needed something. You know what a need is? When you're having a talk with your friend, a lot of times they'll say, you know, we're having a problem at home and you can listen and say, oh, they may not tell you what the problem is, but Jesus knows what that is. And you can say, Jesus, my friend, their family's really going through a hard time. They have a problem. Will you help them? That is what having the heart of Jesus and compassion is all about, is that when we listen for ways that we can pray for our friends, and then we take those needs to Jesus. That's what the Bible says Jesus was moved with. He was moved with compassion. That's care. If you had a need, you would want someone to pray for you. And that's what we need to do. But not just of the needs of our friends. We, in the living room, we can also pray for our leaders. That could be leaders in your community who own businesses or the leaders like our firemen, our police, all those that keep us safe. Pray for protection for them and wisdom whenever they're dealing with those emergency situations. We also pray for the leaders of our country and our nation that they'll make right choices and right decisions. And we pray for our parents too because they're the leaders of our home. But then we also pray about our pastors because they're the leaders in the church. We need to pray that they would have wisdom in leading the church and that God would keep and protect them. But here's something you may not have thought about. Do you know that you can pray for people all over the world? Here in the living room is where that you can get a map. Do you see this map? Get a map of the world and you can say, Jesus, if I sometimes are lonely, then there's got to be people all over the world that are lonely too. So you can pray for others. If you pray for a friend because maybe they have someone in their family that's sick, there are people and families all over the world that are sick. And that compassion that Jesus had that caused him to heal everyone that was in his group that was sick can cause you to care about people that you will never maybe meet and don't know their name. But Jesus knows who they are. And when, when you pray for others, did you know you're praying the heart of Jesus? Because that's what he cares about. He cares about everyone in every nation all over this world. So as you pray, remember your prayer is very powerful and very important and Jesus hears your prayers. Hey, hey Jumpin' Jack. Hey, yeah, take, hey, you missed worship today. You missed the room we were in. Man, oh, what what happened? How come you didn't tell me to come inside? I totally did, but oh. you couldn't hear because you were too busy listening to your headphones. Mm. In the house of prayer today, we learned that we have to be listening so that we can hear the needs of others and what's going on in our world. Mm. Oh, it's really hard to do that. Yeah, it's okay. 
maybe next time we'll focus a little less on what we're doing and more on what's going on around us. But hey, let's go inside. I'll tell you about what you missed today. Okay, let's go. Yeah.